um, Aunt Peg, when it came to charity, she believed that if people had their own ideas about how things should be done, that um, that was good because they would be administering the pro project. She would be giving them money and they would be doing it. But part there's more to having ideas than just having ideas. If you have an idea of how to do something, then you need to have some concept of the financial realities of it. So she would say that they needed to come up with half the money and she would give them half the money and then they could do things the way they saw fit. But there were also cases of people who were just absolutely indigent, who had a crying need that maybe they couldn't even define for themselves and that these kinds of needs, she always wanted to find somebody that she could appoint to spend her money to see to those needs and she never found that actualized in her lifetime or if she ever did it was brief and um, you know spotty um, but um, she set that up here for um, a kid whose adoption she arranged and so forth and um, um, made it, you know, available to him, but I don't know if anybody's ever pointed this out to him, that he has almost at, at like, the discretion of a king over this money, um, and try to get his mind over, around the intention of it, it's for the people that, you know, for the orphan cases, for the, for the not need, you know, for the unworthy poor. For the people that the Catholic Charities don't serve. Uh, for the people that um, it would be bad politics to have your name on any donations of this nature. Or, um, you know, they say, well, you know, we've got this thing taking care of those people and this thing taking care of those people. And you got to give your money to them and you got to give your money to them. And then they give all their money. They always are looking for an excuse not to give the person that you pointed out to them the thing that you said you wanted them to have and um, then to take those resources and to send them so that um, priests can live in a castle. And um, speaking of castles, uh, I was noticing the architecture um, the other day and there's a castle-like building up in Valpo that um, was the um, old jail and now it's uh, a museum. I think it's still a museum. And um, made in the same style, probably the same architect, the same crew, stuff like that. Um, I don't know what years and stuff. It's been more than 100 years.